This year, many of you are gonna wake up one day and realize you've outgrown where you are. You'll feel like a bird all of a sudden locked up in a cage and you didn't feel that way yesterday. You'll feel desperate to get out and fly to the place that God's prepared for you and the Lord will open the door. You'll suddenly realize that you've been prepared for more income, more responsibility, a different location, and a change of address. Your clothes must be changed. Your name tag and your desk nameplate also must be changed. You're ready? It's time. Even the devil can't stop it because it's time. You used to say, I can't, but now all of a sudden you're saying, I'm raring to go. I'm ready. It looked as though things were over for you and you were sheared like Samson was sheared. You felt that your anointing was gone, but now you woke up and you feel something tickling the back of your neck. It's a fresh growth of hair. Your anointing has returned. You thought that the Holy Spirit had bypassed you, but get ready, your most rewarding accomplishments are just around the corner, just as Samson was awaiting him. Go ahead now and start rolling up your mat because not an angel is being sent to stir the pool, but Jesus himself is passing by. And you will receive your healing Roll that mat up and get ready to rise up and walk. You've got better things to do than lie helplessly by a pool the rest of your life. You got things to do, places to go, things to say. Your healing will be both in mind and in body. You will need to be healed in your mind so that you can begin to see yourself healed in your body. Because your mind has already accepted that this is the way it's always going to be. But it's not. Jesus is passing by. The Lord said this. This year, you'll forget what it feels like to cry. Your laughter will be so deep and so long that it will be like a release valve on the inside of you that you will not believe that just that morning you were crying and lonely and in despair. But within 12 hours, he turned your morning into dancing. <laughs> Elijah's passing by. He's gonna throw his mantle around you while you're plowing with 12 yoke of oxen. You're going to burn your plows you're gonna leave your secular work. You're gonna slay the oxen. You're gonna pack up and you will finally begin your odyssey in the ministry that God promised you years ago. There's a mighty rumbling. It's the hoofs of God's angels coming to bring freedom to the captives. Their swords are drawn and their banners are flying. Your enemies that have tormented you are getting nervous. They are losing their influence over you now and confusion has already set in. They are scattering and already they're becoming like loose soil where at once they held you like concrete. Your enemies will leave bounty and spoils that you will gather from the battle and not one shot will be fired. This is a battle the Lord himself says he will fight. Your enemy will scatter at the sound of the Lord of hosts this will be a sudden thing. Again, I say, this will be a sudden thing. The investment that you've made in someone very close to you, the Lord says, will not be in vain. Those years of investment, prayers and intercession, the Lord is already at work untangling Satan's web that he, the devil, has meticulously woven over your son. The blindfold over his eyes is gonna come off. And he will begin to see clearly what he couldn't see previously. He'll see the trap that was laid for his very soul. And when he's free, it's going to set you free. 
So the Lord said, go ahead and now rejoice. It's as good as done. You will sign your name this year to papers that will unlock your future. A simple signature on these documents will be the key that will unlock many locks. It will be like a chain reaction. This document will now lead to future contracts. It's your childhood dream. Somebody in the house give the Lord praise.